Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use 3D objects in Spark AR. So I made this kind of heads. Like in this video. So I will show you where to find it, how to install it and how to use it. So okay, let's start. We need to first open our browser, write CG Trader. It's a 3D models website. So you go inside, you need to sign up or sign in. Then uh, you go to a search panel and you can look for any 3D object you need. For example, I'm looking for a head. <clears throat> so I wrote head and you need to choose like a free option or you have money. If you have money, just buy it. And the format should be FBX for um, Spark R. It's uh, the best choice, you know. So let's look for some good, nice looking head over here. For example, this one looks good. Let's try it. And uh, maybe this one. But let's see what's gonna happen. So you check the size of it. If it's okay, it should not be more than 4 megabytes because the Spark AR doesn't allow it more than 4 megabytes for Instagram filters. So you press download and you wait 20 seconds and it's yours so you go back to this one and it seems pretty good you just press download wait 20 seconds and you got your own object you know <laughs> okay so here we go you press download and let's download this one right now right away after this one, you need to open Spark AR project, new blank object, it's pretty good, you know. And um, you need to add face tracker in it. In this face tracker, you can add face mesh, so um, to insert, uh, you need to create material, you can change the name for the retouching and, and get our retouching to our face because um, uh, everybody likes good looking face you now <clears throat> so I change the name so I feel comfortable to use it and I go back to my um, object and just drop it to our project you now so here we go we then we need to go to oh actually first of all we need to um, uh, also drag and drop our head acuter so uh, actually you can find it in the spark AR, uh, website or if you don't know where to find it you can just uh, check my previous videos and you can find it over there <coughs> so we inserted head acuter we need to uh, first of all put head acuter on our face tracker it looks like this and just to change the size a little bit so it fits our head you know should be like the size of our head and uh, pretty similar like this just go to our head acuter material and delete it and then go back to our head acuter and create new material for it i am changing the name so i feel comfortable to use it okay you can do whatever and how you like <clears throat> then go to our head object and bring it to our um, face tracker here you need to um, change the uh, rotation and position of the head um, and the size of of course so it should fit our head okay uh, something like this but uh, you can try your own and you can experience exp um, do some experience experiments or I don't know yeah so when you go back to our material head you just change the opacity to zero and it disappears but it's somewhere there you know so um, yes like this and uh, 
we can change the size a little bit a little bit less yes of our head acuter and uh, we can change the size of our head <clears throat> you can play around you know and let's see what's gonna happen uh, so for now it looks uh, like this but I have some issues as you can see and it's this um, blank stuff so you just press on it and just delete press delete and it disappears then yeah pretty much it's um, like mostly uh, is um, understandable you just need to change the size of it so it looks much real looks much better so you can uh, <coughs> play change the size place uh, change the rotation and position of of the objects yes mm -hmm. okay i guess it looks much good and in this website you can find different objects but uh, i'm not promoting them they are not paying me enough like uh, nothing so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye guys